Hi. I'm going to be doing um, chakra cards today and just talking a little bit about the energy. I don't have a huge energy report, so mainly I'm just going to be doing cards. Give me a moment to find this feed. It is Friday, <laughs> the week of the 11-11 portholes, so I think a lot of people will be happy that it's Friday today and be um, glad to move on to the weekend after integrating so much energy. Give me a moment to find this and share it out. If you're just finding me, go ahead and drop a comment. If you're going to want a card, I'm about to get started in one second. If you haven't, please share this feed out. I always need you guys to, too. Alright, so we've been taking in a lot of energies this week. We kind of are at a low. I like to think of this as an integration space right now. We are going to um, get hit with some more energy too, right, coming in this weekend. So I was just joking around um, like yesterday. I was like, plot twist, there's more energy coming. So I know it feels like things have kind of slowed down a little bit. They have but we haven't quite got past that gateway that we're still kind of moving through. So we can expect a lot of energy to come in. This is a powerful week for manifesting too. We're seeding our intentions for the new. I was thinking about this morning how beautiful it is that we have so many people that are awake and are here for no other reason except to create a new earth, a new collective, and that is beautiful. Um, because it's really needed during this time. So we're kind of at a space between worlds with where we are with our ascension as well because we're not quite fitting into the old paradigm. We're kind of removed from the third dimension hopefully and we kind of haven't yet created this new collective. When I think of the collective, I like to think of it as our hopes, dreams, fears, all of us together and it kind of comes together as this is consciousness, this is the collective. Um, through the work that we're doing, healing ourselves, it is very powerful in terms of coming to this planet, transmuting family karma, getting rid of it for good. And so there's a lot of powerful things that are happening right now. We're going to be wrapping up this energy in Scorpio as well this week, which is all about the emotional. And we can see it. Places are literally flooding globally. So we see there's a lot of water energy still influencing the collective right now. Um, this is a really good time to be kind of going within, going deeper, going into maybe your shadow to release things, um, you know, to bring more light to these spaces. A lot of you guys are having a lot of downloads, a lot of spiritual knowing or information coming to you in whatever form. You guys are assimilating a lot of knowledge fast. If you guys feel like you're also kind of awake early, that could be true. And the reason why is because we have more inner work to do with ourselves. So like I said, you know, we're going to see a lot unfold on a large scale level on this planet. And so a lot of people are kind of awake early right now, giving us time to work on ourselves, to anchor into new frequencies, to continue to activate. My link is above too. If you guys need me, I'll be around them the rest of the day. If you resonate with this stuff, maybe go get an Akashic reading, check out a class, go get a healing session. Make sure you guys share this out too. If you're just joining me, I'm doing chakra cards. Just drop your name if you're going to want a card. Becky Hall McBride, good morning. I'm early today, right? <laughs> you're working on your heart chakra, passion, desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy. And I, I draw a lot of specific types of people to me, I've noticed, in, with my mission and my own journey and um, the work that I'm doing here. And I noticed that I draw a lot of generators to me. I was describing what that is to someone this morning, and I typically think of that as like a light worker, a grid worker, a healer of some sort. You know, you are here to make good vibrations, to make good energy. And I know we have a lot like of negativity at any given moment going on around the planet. You know, that's 
part of this whole um, this whole structure, but it's very important that we're putting out good energy, that we're taking in that energy and putting out better energy so that we can, you know, lift the frequencies around here. More of what you love, more working with your heart chakra, more love. Jamie Taylor, you're working on your sacral chakra. Money, finances, power, generosity, and abundance. We need to learn how to manifest. The problem is we never knew that we had to. I think it's really amazing because I see a lot of people are conscious parenting and working with these children and teaching them, you know, how things really work around here. But really focus on practicing with your manifesting. We have a lot of reprogramming to do when it comes to things like money, how we view it, our relationship with it. Um, the material in general. Barb Howard, good morning. You're working on your crown chakra. Intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. And your entire life is pretty much the biggest test you'll ever do coming to Earth School, right? Your entire life is. You're, you know, kind of going through this course and you have your own individualized lessons as you need them. So it leads me to believe that the universe really loves to play school. We see it happening a lot on this planet. Um, once you wake up, we really feel like we have a lot to learn. But don't worry, that knowledge knowledge is always within you. We're just learning how to tap into it and how to tune into it. Keep working on your crown chakra. Marie Pucci, you're working on your throat chakra. Will, expression, assertiveness, self-control, direction. Keep working on your throat chakra. I do so much past life work and um, you know I found a lot of things that a lot of people have in common. So we need to find our voice this life. This comes from past life issues. Um, where you know we really had really crazy things happen and we learned how to come back and not speak so much um, Find your voice. It's going to be really powerful in unlocking the fifth dimension as well as your potential in creating and manifesting We're finding that our words are powerful and whatever we're thinking about let alone speaking about is really shaping and turning into our reality and our Experiences that we will draw to us. So find your voice. It's really powerful and you finding you know your creative potential Dakota Dustin good morning you're working on your solar plexus whenever you get the yellow card I'm like empaths super empaths right we have so many people that are becoming empathic um this does not surprise me I think that people are all meant to be empathic and psychic and that people just became very psychically polluted at some point in time so you know through going through this journey, we tend to come back to that space of empathy and compassion. Um, you're taking in a lot of energy as well. So I like to think of people that identify with that label of being an empath, that you're taking in frequencies, you're taking in energy. So have good boundaries, more self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. Better boundaries too. We really are becoming the energy that we're around, so we really want to set boundaries, you know, we need to stop people placing, doing things that we don't feel like doing, honoring our own energy more. Regina Lily Morella. You're working on your third eye. Guidance, support, love, signs, and direction. And you're being divinely guided. I couldn't really continue on doing this stuff if I wasn't being um, divinely guided in everything that I'm doing with it. So it's really important to remember that we are being divinely guided. You're not alone in this. In fact, you know, there are many that can even feel what's going on collectively on deep levels. We're all interconnected, we're finding out. We share not only this collective, but this stream of energy that we call consciousness. Keep working on your third eye. We're going to find a lot of our abilities um, come from that. D.I. Monte, good morning. You're working on your throat chakra. Communication, self-expression, exchange, sharing, and connection. And, you know, good news, Mercury will come out of retrograde next week. But, you know, a lot of that is when we have these astrological alignments, just shining a light on what's already there, bringing it out more. So a lot of people love to, like, blame the full moons. I'm having a rough time. But it's really just amplifying whatever is going on underneath anyway, bringing it to the surface. Um, so keep on working on your throat chakra. I'm someone who really feels that shift with every Mercury retrograde we have, I guess, just because of some of the alignments in my own birth chart. And it tends to make me feel like I want to go in hermit mode, but it's very important that we continue to speak, find our voice. 
Catherine Cox. You're working on your sacral chakra. Desires, goals, passion, cravings, and fulfillment. We need to really light ourselves up. Um, it's really what's going to shape the collective. I was talking about the Schumann Resonance yesterday and I said I like to think of that as the collective frequency actually when it's jumping around um, in my own world right people view things differently um, but from my perspective that's how I like to think of it with kind of what's going on and we can see it kind of is correlating with some other things that are happening time to shift your frequency time to keep raising your vibe we can't raise our vibrational frequency overnight um, if we were vibrating on high enough frequencies no one would ever get sick no one would ever ever have disease be sick, right? Be in the kind of those third dimensional programs. So we need to continue to raise up our vibrational frequency. Cindy Gordon Carpenter. Good morning. You're working on your sacral. Keep working on your energy. That's where you're going to find a lot of this kind of comes together. Nancy Roswell. You're working on your crown chakra. Divine consciousness, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. Keep working on your crown. I always say meditation, prayer, getting outside is really good for your crown chakra. Nicole Kareen, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, letting go of fear. <laughs> it's our biggest obstacle. Literally our biggest obstacle. It's whatever, it's anything that's been blocking us from manifesting and creating because you know we're daydreaming up whatever it is we're thinking about so if we're thinking about things we don't want bad situations we could draw those to us um so for me i am clearly american but i live in the united kingdom and when i was living in america i did a lot of work with the root chakra i was working you know in some of the areas in alignment with that chakra in the earth center there too and it's really powerful for me grounding connecting with the earth meditating to really um keep that chakra extra balanced right when we're extra grounded you can really tell in our energy field a lot of people are extra zen out like no fear right in bliss things like that keep working on your root chakra you have a lot of really beautiful nature here too in the united kingdom there's a lot of um spiritual you know energetic areas that are amazing and beautiful connect with the earth more here it's needed too we came to assist the earth with gaia's ascension as well so when we connect with the earth it is very powerful kylie beach you're working on your third eye you guys know i do third eye sh um sh chakra activations too through my site that's one of the most powerful gateways that we have in the body um for people that are like into dreaming or right lucid dreaming astral travel meditation um out of body experiences a lot of that comes from the third eye chakra as well a lot of our reality comes from the subconscious right we can think of our third eye as kind of like that direct connection between both um, keep working on your third eye and you know for people that feel like they're in their head a lot well perfect you probably have a lot of abilities centered around that chakra so it's really important that we're being more careful with our thoughts during this time I can see a danger in this and the frequencies are going up on the planet and people are continuing to create like things they don't want to happen right they're continuing to think about you know things they're stressed about worried about and these things are manifesting into the collective so it's very important that that we're being more and more careful with our thoughts and I know that takes some level of mastery because it's everything I've been working on for the past couple of years and that takes a lot of work right to you know be mindful of what we're thinking about what we're focusing on and this is where we're all kind of at with this Brandy Marshall Holland you're working on your solar plexus chakra you're really energy sensitive too and empathic so take good care of your energy. I really like to spend a lot of time alone. That's how I recharge. That's how I, you know, spend time downloading um, or it could be like in meditative states. I am huge on salt baths for your aura as well. We tend to like take on a lot of the frequencies and energies around us like sponges, right? We are transmuters. So it's really important that we're keeping our own energy clear. Mallory Lane, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, family, belonging, community, culture, and tribe. Emily Zito, you're working on your throat chakra, truth, honesty, transparency, sincerity, and communication. Keep trying to find your voice, right? I'm always practicing in doing these videos, right? I'm practicing. Um, so try to find your voice. It's going to be really powerful in opening you up, though, as a manifester. 
Andrea Huxley. You're working on your heart chakra. More love, kindness, benevolence, sharing, and receiving. More work with your heart chakra. Anyone trying to work with the heart chakra as well, go get outside as well, right? It's very healing for us to be outside for that chakra. Gretchen Hyatt. You're working on your throat chakra too. Finding your voice is going to be powerful um, in terms of, you know, being of service for you too. Assisting and guiding other people. A lot of the people that are awake, you know, are going to be playing really big roles in this ascension. Kim Hickman. You're working on your sacral chakra. Relationships, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. And we have a lot of work to do with balancing things, right? Especially in relationships if we're not noticing. Um, so really work on your own energy when we're in balance. We're usually more in balance with those around us. Through us changing our frequency and our energy, it changes all of our relationships as well. Keep working on your sacral. Catherine Cox. You're working on your crown chakra, inspiration, ideas, spark, conception, and impulse. Keep working on your crown chakra. Hilary Paredes. You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, possessions, belongings, finances, assets, and treasures. Keep working on your root chakra. No sauce. Oh, I love it. I love um, I love this time of year, right? It's the perfect week for astral work, dream work, things like that. So a lot of you guys are going to start to have really powerful dreams the next couple of months. Maybe you are making sense of these things. Maybe not. I like to think of it as the world of the subconscious, which also creates our waking, you know, regular reality as well. So it's a powerful place. Um, we're getting a lot of messages that way. Very powerful time for the subconscious, especially the next week. Mosas, sacral, pleasure, enjoyment, beauty, sensuality, and indulgence. Emmanuel Ray Rivera, sacral, sexuality, openness, sharing, beauty, and honor. Keep on working on the sacral. Linda Bonham. Good morning. You're working on your throat chakra. Self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. Keep working on your throat chakra. That's why a lot of our programming is to, right, be quiet, don't speak, raise your hand if you have a question, right, things like that. We have a lot of programming um, meant to stop us from speaking, things like that. Keep working with your voice. Angie S. Love it. You're working on your solar plexus, gut instincts, intuition, knowing, sensing, and trust. And we have to really learn how to fine tune our intuition. It's a lot of our internal compass. So, you know, when we stop listening to ourselves <coughs> or listening to our intuition, we tend to silence it. And so through listening to our own internal compass and letting ourselves guide us on our journey, we can really fine tune that as, you know, a spiritual ability. Um, that's like your soul communicating with you. I, I always joke around and say if you're listening to your ego, it will kind of lead you down this crazy path, probably even try to kill you. No, but you know what I mean? So that's the space in your mind. We need to listen to the space from our heart, from our intuition, from our knowing. And you guys always know better about your situation than anyone else ever would, right? You've been walking your path longer than anyone. And I know a lot of people can tell you a lot about your life from the outside looking in but you have a much better perspective than anyone else you you know have been through every experience you kind of know where you're headed better than anyone too it's about listening to that internal guidance that we receive marine molina you're working on your heart chakra too connection universal oneness love interconnection and support and, you know, we have a lot of healing work we have to do before we're on the right frequencies. This is a process that's kind of unfolding right now. Keep working with your heart chakra. We brought a lot of past life garbage with us, too. Things that we're going to clear out and heal now, in the, here in the now, going through this ascension. So keep working with your heart chakra. Julie Robinson. You're working on your third eye. Dreams, messages, signs, symbols, and guidance. Charity Doss, you're working on your heart chakra, emotional balance, stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. Keep working on your heart chakra. 
We do a lot of lessons in love here, right? We do a lot of lessons in love here if you're not noticing. You know, love is meant to be found in every moment despite whatever perspective we may choose to have going through our experiences. This is all kind of a journey leading you and guiding you back to self-love as well. Learn how to really love yourself more and, you know, it will really make you shine on all new levels. A lot of people are always trying to expect someone else to love them in the ways they really need, but more self-love, more heart chakra, work. Pam Hinshaw, you're working on your heart chakra. Forgiveness, letting go, healing, growth, and compassion. More heart chakra work. Christine Castellon, <clears throat> you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, grounding, nature, presence, practicality, and stability. Get outside, connect with the earth, more grounding. That's like a really good way to get through these energy shifts too. I see a lot of people get really ungrounded and, you know, kind of puts them too like in the upper chakras, too much in a panic. If you can stay really grounded, you'll handle the energy shifts a lot better. Christy Klein Hughes, you're working on your crown chakra as well. Like I said before, meditation is really important too in terms of learning how to kind of tune in and connect with the universe, with ourselves. More meditation or prayer or getting outside is all really good for our crown chakra. Melissa Hill, you're working on your solar plexus, empath, <laughs> inner child, playfulness, lightheartedness, innocence, and wonder. And, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of inner child he healing now. A lot of you guys are parents, and that is meant to be healing your inner child or old wounds, old traumas, family stuff, going down the family lines, things like that, right? More inner child healing. Do more fun things. We get really swept up in this you know, paradigm that we're kind of currently living in. Make time for yourself. Do more fun things. Get creative. Deval Patel. You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, action, movement, perseverance, discipline, and motivation. Pamela Wilson. You're working on your heart chakra too. More compassion, caring, empathy, acceptance, and gentleness. Bridget Logan Yidon. Good morning. You're working on your third eye, the mind, openness, flexibility, imagination, and learning. And be careful because you have abilities of the mind. Um, a lot of, I was like talking about this this morning. A lot of people are going to be having kind of abilities coming online, like telepathy, sensing when someone is like feeling you, thinking of you, um, remote accessing people, things like that. So you have a lot of gifts with the mind. So you know, be careful of what you're thinking about because you are creating those things, not just for yourself, but for others. So work with your third eye more. Beverly Bendua. So you're working on your throat chakra, creativity, imagination, expression, originality, and passion. Keep on working on your throat chakra. Get creative. The universe has probably had every experience ever, clearly, right? So we need to get creative, step outside the box. I found that when I kind of venture outside of what everyone else is doing, the universe generally really aligns with that. Um, so really get creative. Latoya Jordan, you're working on your solar plexus, empath. Choice, free will, courage, willpower, and change. Samantha Palmieri. You're working on your solar plexus, personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. Work on setting good boundaries. I always say toxic people have zero boundaries. <laughs> Work on setting good boundaries. You know, um, this is really important for our own energy, though. Let's see. Yasmin Curley, you're working on your third eye. Insight, understanding, awakening, awareness, and self-evaluation. Jeffrey Cahoe, you're working on your third eye too. Intuition, trust, insight, awareness, and guidance. Keep on working on your third eye. We're learning how to fine-tune our abilities with that chakra as well as, I, like I said, it's a lot of work to be, you know, mindful of every thought, being careful of what we're putting out there, right? Focusing on things, intention, manifesting, this is a lot of work. So we're kind of learning how to manifest and create again with these new energies as well. It's a lot to handle. We're basically kind of surfing these cosmic waves coming in as well, galactic waves of energy. Um, you know, there's a lot going on kind of in one place, but keep working with your third eye. Christine Starcy Marie, 
You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, home, shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth. Ebony Wahadin. You're working on your crown chakra, presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. Brian Graham. You're working on your heart chakra. We're going to continue to expand with all of our chakras and energy centers and, you know, continue to go through this transformation with the physical human body. But keep on working on your heart chakra. Kim Hickman. You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra. Physical health, vitality, strength, body image, and balance. Shana Smith. You're working on your solar plexus, self-esteem, confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. And it's very important that we find confidence with our abilities and what we're doing. And this is different than ego, right? Um, so it's really important that we're finding some confidence in ourselves, what we're doing here, our purpose, our reason for being. You're very energy sensitive. Don't let others affect how you're seeing yourself. More self-love. Catherine Diane Jelly Farrar. You're working on your... Uh, third eye chakra seeing perspective truth knowledge and clarity and as these energies um, continue to come in and the frequencies continue to go up we're going to be able to tune in better and better we're going to come back to some amazing abilities that people haven't had on this planet for a very very long time um, keep working with your third eye you're going to see more and more there are those that clearly can see through the illusion um, you know this version of reality and you're going to be able to see um, deeper and deeper as well a lot of psychic abilities coming online that will continue to come online too. Kathy Sedasan Shaw, you're working on your third eye. Visualization, imagination, focus, experience, and manifestation. Jen Mitalider, you're working on your crown chakra. Faith, hope, support, miracles, and spirituality. Cindy, wait, I got you already. Mercia Kavakic Tamik. You're working on your uh, throat chakra. Sound, music, silence, rhythm, and vibration. And you know, being by yourselves in silence is very powerful for our frequencies. So is music. Binaural beats, certain frequencies um, are very powerful in healing. I really like, like, I'll listen to a bunch of either astral kind of sleep binaural beats or 520 hertz binaural beats are very powerful for healing our DNA and our energy field. Make your space more sacred. It's very important that we have a good environment so that we can grow. Ashley Samak, you're working on your sacral. Emotions, feelings, expression, moods, and balance. And we're kind of learning how to find balance in these new frequencies as well with a lot going on. Just keep on working on that chakra. I'm going to be getting off of here. Um, if this resonates with you, if you didn't get a card, you can always come get a reading. I'm here all day. Um, for Akashic work today and energy work if you need me I'm also manifesting students if you're trying to get more into this stuff you guys know that I attune people to Reiki and a ton of other types of energy healing my link is above to my site I will be back Monday live 